Hello everyone, welcome to Medical Microbiology. So today, we will do exercise for final exams. These final exams will be over all the 20 chapters that has been uh, studied in this course. So chapter 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and chapter 25. So, for the best results of this exercise, first, make sure you study all the 20 chapters before taking this exercise. Second, prepare some pieces of paper and pencil or pen to write your answer. Third, there will be two or three seconds after each question to write your answer on paper before the answer key is given and explained. Again, you can always pause the video if you need more time. Fourth, after finish the exercise, check your answer. How many are correct and how many are incorrect? Fifth, repeat the process until you get 100% correct answer. Sixth, Make sure that the 100% correct answers are based on your knowledge, not from your guessings. 7. It is very likely that you will get a very good score on your final exam if you follow this instruction correctly. Okay, we will start with Question number one. Which of the following is not very useful information to determine the evolutionary relatedness of two species? A. Their DNA sequence. B. Their morphological features. C. Their cellular characteristics. D. The environment where they live. And E, all the above answers are correct. So choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be D, the environment where they live. Okay, remember the NA is very important information uh, to know the relationship between a species. The same thing with the morphological features and also their cellular characteristic. The environment where they live is not really useful for uh, identif uh, identifying the relatedness of two species based on evolution. Okay, number two. Which of the following scientific name is written correctly? Okay, A, Staphylococcus aureus, right, the first name with capital letter, the second name is a lower case, and both names are italicized. B, Staphylococcus aureus, similar with the first one, but the second name start with capital letter. Staphylococcus aureus, the first name start with the lower case. Uh, D, Staphylococcus aureus, both names are not italized and E Staphylococcus aureus. So choose the correct answer. Yes, the correct answer should be A Staphylococcus aureus, which is remember the rule for binomials naming uh, organism, which is each organism will have two names, the first name and the second name. Both names have to be italized and the first name 
should start with the capital letter and the second name starts with lowercase so a is the correct answer number three a unicellular organism which has nucleus but without cell wall and chloroplast will be classified in the kingdom of a monera b protista c fungi d plantae e animalia choose your answer yes the answer should be protista remember the characteristic of each uh, kingdom over here so remember monera is a group of organisms microorganism without nucleus so monera is not the answer protista yeah this is a group of organism that has nucleus some of them has cell wall with the chloroplast like algae some of them do not have cell wall and do not have chloroplast like the protozoa fungi they have cell wall but they do not have chloroplast eh? so it is not the answer plant plantae or plants they do have cell wall and chloroplast is not the answer animalia okay this is uh, yes it has nucleus no cell wall and no chloroplast but animalia they are uh, multicellular they have million million of cells so this is not the answer so the answer will be protista which is actually uh, part of the protista uh, which is called the protozoa which is animal like uh, microorganism number four the branch of microbiology that involve in using microorganism to produce food or beverages such as beer and wine is the a biotechnology b immunology C. Epidemiology D. Genetic Engineering and E. Serology So choose your answer Yes, the answer will be Biotechnology which is uh, the use of microorganism for producing something like foods, beverages, antibiotics, uh, hormones, etc number five which of the following are the parasitic worms a viruses b bacteria c fungi d helminths e protozoa eh, the answer should be d helminths so parasitic worms is actually animals uh, which is in the group of helminths number six the name of kingdom for all prokaryotic organisms like bacteria a monera b protista c fungi d plantae e animalia choose your answer yes the answer should be monera the rest of the kingdom protista fungi plantae animalia they are eukaryotic cell the one that have nucleus monera is the only one that do not have nucleus or prokaryotic organism number seven which of the following conditions could be triggered by infection a cervical cancer b female or male infertility c gastric ulcer d kaposis sarcoma e all the above answers are correct choose your answer yes the correct answer will be e all the above answers are correct so infections can trigger cancer like cervical cancer uh, liver cancer it can also causing infertility to male and female it causing the gastric ulcer and it's also causing the skin cancer called the Kaposi sarcoma, especially to 
eight patient. So all the above answer are correct. Number eight, the special term used for beneficial roles of a microorganism to break down harmful pollutants in the environment is the A. Nutrients production B. Decomposition C. Antibiotics production D. Bioremediation E. Competition Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is D. bio remediation decomposition is also correct but decomposition usually for all process that break down uh, organic molecules so for the one that use for cleaning environments the process is called the bioremediation number nine which of the following condition does not contribute to the rise of emerging diseases a. Human population are more mobile B. The increase in drug-resistant bacteria C. Changes in agricultural practices D. The decrease in drug-resistant bacteria E. All the above answer are correct Choose your answer Yes, the answer should be the decrease in drug-resistant bacteria because this is actually good for us. It will not causing the rise of emerging disease. The human population that are more mobile, it will increase the disease infection. Uh, the increase of drug resistance, of course, it will cause the bacteria become more difficult to control. Changes in agricultural, agricultural practices, yet this is so contribute for increase the resistance of bacteria by using, you know, some farmer maybe using antibiotics and etc. So the answer will be the decrease in drug resistant bacteria. Number 10. Which of the following media would be the best choice for observing bacterial colony? A. Triptyche soy broth media B. Manitol salt broth uh, media C. Enriched broth media D. Triptyche soy agar media E. All the above answers are correct Choose your answer Yes, the answer should be agar media It's a solid media It's the best choice to grow bacteria to see the colony you cannot see colony with the broth media broth mean liquid so you cannot really see the colony uh, in the liquid media number 11 objective lens magnifies object to produce blank image while the ocular lens magnifies object to produce blank image choose your answer a real and real b real and virtual c virtual and virtual d virtual and real and e no image no image choose your answer yeah the answer should be the objective lens actually give the real image but the ocular lens will give the virtual image so this is the image that you see on your eyes when you use microscope which is virtual image okay mirror uh, image number 12 which type of optical microscope is widely used in many laboratories a dark field b bright field C. Fluorescence D. Face contrast E. Scanning confocal Choose your answer Yeah, you usually use the microscope and you should be able to see that the field is actually bright and the object is darker uh, So this is what we call the bright field uh, microscope this is the one that usually use in many labs. Number 
13. A petri dish containing only isolated colonies of Staphylococcus aureus would be described as being A. A, a pure culture B. A mixed culture C. A, a contaminated culture D. A special culture and E. A unique culture Choose your answer Yeah, so this should be the pure culture so one colony, one species only, uh, is called the pure culture. Number 14. What is the total power or total magnification or TM of an object seen and using the a microscope with 10 times ocular lens and scanning objective lens? A. 40 time, B, 100 time, C, 200 time, D, 400 time, and E, 1000 time. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be 40 time. In this case, you have to know the power of scanning lens, which is only 4 time. Remember the TM, uh, you find the TM by uh, multiplications of power of ocular lens and power of the objective lens. So ocular lens in 10 times, scanning lens is 4 times, so 10 for uh, time 4 will be 40 times. Number 15. Which type of optical microscope is used to show a three-dimensional view of bacterial cells? A. Dark field B. Bright field C. Fluorescence D. Transmission electron microscope or TEM E. Scanning electron microscope or SEM Choose your answer Yes, the answer will be scanning electron microscope It will give us the three-dimensional object Number 16. The loop used for strict plate method is the A. Hockey stick loop B. Uh, inoculating loop C. Sterile swab D. Toothpick E. Needle loops Choose your answer. Okay, the loop for strict plate is called the uh, inoculating loop. Number 17. Which part of the culturing methods used to encourage growth of a microbe by altering temperatures and other conditions? A. Inoculation B. Isolation C. Incubation D. Inspection E. Identification Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be incubation, which is we put the uh, media uh, inside a chamber. It's called the incubator, and we can set the temperatures and some other uh, condition. So this is called the incubation. Number 18. When a single cell divides many times to amount of identical cells, is called a a unicellular b multicellular c colony d biofilm e all the above answer are correct choose your answer this is what we call the colony a colony consists of uh, many cells and then it will give specific uh, shape uh, size of colony for specific species. Number 19. Which of the following microorganisms well adapted to the extreme environmental condition like extremophiles uh, such as hot uh, like to live in hot condition, thermophiles, very cold, psychrophiles, very salty, osmophiles, or very acidic, acidophiles condition. A. Viruses B. Bacteria C. 
protis di fungi e archaea choose your answer yes the answer will be archaea archaea is a group of bacteria that live in extreme condition number 20 the primary function of cell membrane is a to maintain shape of the cell b to attach to the host cell c to move the cell d to synthesize proteins e to regulate transport of molecule in and out of the cell choose your answer yes the answer should be e so the primary function of cell membrane is to regulate transport of molecules in and out of the cell. Number 21. When the bacteria rotates its flagella counterclock, it will A. Run, B. Stop, C. Stumble, D. Die, E. Slip. Choose your answer. Okay, counterclockwise will make the bacteria to move and this movement is called running or run so it will cause the bacteria to run when it move or rotate the flagella counterclockwise 22 when a bacteria rotate its flagella clockwise it will a run b stop c tumble d die e slip choose your answer okay the answer is tumble so the uh, terminology for stopping okay, for the bacteria is called tumble so run and tumble run when the flagell flagella is counterclockwise and tumble when the flagella rotate clockwise number 23 which of the following differentiates mammalian species and bacterial species a mammalian species has chromosome while bacterial species does not b mammalian species has cell membrane while bacterial species does not C. Mammalian species has cytoplasm while bacterial species does not. D. Mammalian species has ribosome while bacterial species does not. E. Mammalian species reproduce sexually while bacterial species reproduce asexually. Choose your answer. The answer should be E. Mammalian species reproduce sexually while bacterial species reproduce asexually. The other choices is incorrect because both mammalian species and bacterial species have chromosome, they have cell membrane, they have cytoplasm, all of them has ribosome. So A, B, C, D are incorrect. So the correct answer is E. Number 24. Which of the following group of microorganisms have cilia for movement? A. Bacteria B. Algae C. Protozoa D. Fungi E. Helmin Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be protozoa. So some protozoa has flagella, some has cilia for movement. Number 25. The structure or organelle used to synthesize protein is the A. Nucleus, B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosomes, D. Cell wall, E. Chloroplast. Choose your answer. The answer should be ribosome. So ribosome is the organelle that produce protein. Mitochondria produce energy. Eh? Chloroplast produce organic molecules, the sugar. Number 26. Filamentous fungi are called A. Septa, B. Mycelium, D. Molds, D. Yeast. Choose your answer. Yes, it is called mold. So filamentous fungi are called molds. 
27. Two group of parasitic worms are blah and blah. A. Tap worms and flukes. B. Round worms and pin worms. C. Flat worms and flukes. D. Flat worms and round worms. E. Flat worms and tape worms. Choose your answer. Yes, the correct answer will be flat worms and round worms. Tape worms, it is flat. Fluke, also flat. So this is not the answer. Round worms, it is round. Pin worm, also round. So this is not the answer. Flat worm, which is flat. Fluke, also flat. It's not the answer. Eh? Flat worm, tape worm, also not the answer. So the correct answer will be flat and round worms. Number 28. Trophozoid, encysment, cyst, and excisment are terms used to describe blank life cycle. A. Helminth, B. Bacteria, C. Algae, D. Protozoa, E. Virus. Yes, the correct answer will be protozoa. So some protozoa have protozoid, uh, trophozoid. Uh, they can also perform or create cysts with the process called the encysment. And then from the cysts, they also can develop into trophozoid. It's called the excisment. So this is the life cycle of protozoa. Number 29. The organelle that consists of grana or stack of tilacoid and used as the site of Photosynthesis is the A. Nucleus, B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosomes, D. Chloroplast, E. Smooth Endoplasmic Reticulum or SER. Choose your answer. Yes, it should be Chloroplast. Eh? Chloroplast has grana and it is used for photosynthesis. Number 30. Which of the following is considered as a medical threat of algae? A. Algae use oxygen and suffocating the fish. B. Algae are used for food additive. C. Algae produce toxins which accumulate in seafood. D. Algae produce nutrients for other marine organisms. E. Algae are used for making culture media. So what is your answer? Yes, the answer should be that algae produce toxin which accumulate in seafood and it can be threat for humans' health. Number 31. The organelle that modifies proteins and lipids into final products to be transported to their destination is the A. Nucleus, B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosome, D. Chloroplast, and E. Golgi apparatus. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex. This is the one that modify protein lipids into the final products like enzymes and hormones. Hormones usually transported outside the cell okay, to their destination. Number 32. Three basic cell shapes are A. Spherical, cylindrical, and cubical. B. Coccus, pyrillum, and bacillus. C. Prokaryotic, archaeotic, and eukaryotic. D. Plant, fungi, and animal. E. Eukarya, Archaea, and Bacteria. Choose your answer. Yes, the basic shapes of regular cell are round or spherical, cylindrical, and cubical. Number 33. Three basic bacterial cell shapes are A. Spherical, cylindrical, cubical. B. Coccus, spirillum, and bacillus. C. Prokaryotic, archaeotic, and eukaryotic. D. Plants, fungi, and animals. 
E. Eukarya, Archaea, and Bacteria. Choose your answer. Yes, bacteria has special name for their shape, which is coccus for round, spirillum for spiral, and bacillus for rod. Number 34. Which of the following is not a char characteristic of cells or living things? A. Metabolisms. B. Respond to stimulus. C. Reproduction D. Growth E. Cell envelope or boundary Choose your answer Yes, the answer is cell envelope or boundary It is not characteristic of living Okay, it is not characteristic of living uh, For example, uh, virus is not living thing but they do have cell envelope or boundary number 35 which of the following makes possible the differentiation of members of the genus mycobacterium and the genus of nocardia from other bacteria a the gram stain b the acid fast stain C. The flagella D. The endospores E. The axial filament Choose your answer Yes, the answer is that mycobacterium and nocardia they need or require special staining to identify them That special staining is called the, the acid fast stain So we cannot perform gram, uh, gram staining for these two microorganisms. Number 36. The basic or primary dye used in bacterial gram staining is the A. Safranin, B. Crystal violet, C. Lugols, D. Iodine, E. Alcohol. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be crystal violet. So this is the primary dye used for gram staining the color is blue or purple gram positive will be blue or purple number 37 the counter stain used in bacterial gram staining is the a safranin b crystal violet c lugols d iodine e alcohol choose your answer yes the answer will be safranin so safranin is the counter stain after crystal violet gram negative bacteria will carry this color which is red or pink color number 38 a prokaryotic cell wall that is primarily composed of peptidoglycan with small amount of ticoic acid and lipotichoic acid is the A gram positive bacteria, B gram negative bacteria, C archaea, D staphylococcus aureus, E streptococcus pyogenes. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is gram. Oh, this is. Yes, this is gram positive bacteria, which it has very thick cell wall with a very small amount of tycoic and lipotycoic acid. So gram positive bacteria. Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus aureus, they are also gram positive bacteria. But the 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 best answer will be the group which is gram positive bacteria number 39 an example of motility or movement structure of bacteria is a fimbriae b pili c flagella d capsule e slime layer choose your answer yes the answer will be flagella because fimbriae is not for movement it is for attachment Pili is not for movement, it is for 
transferring gene, capsule, and slime layer. It is for protection. Number 40. All the following structure contribute to the ability of pathogenic bacteria to cause disease except A. Fimbriae, B. Pili, C. Inclusion, D. Capsule, E. Slime layer. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be inclusion because inclusion is not really contribute for the virulent factors. Fimbriae is your first attachment. Pili is used for transferring gene. Capsule slime layer is used for protection. So it is the one that also used for uh, virulent factor or causing disease to the host tissue. Inclusion is not. Number 41. The site for protein synthesis is the A nucleus. B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosomes, D. Chloroplasts, E. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Choose your answer. Yes, again the answer will be ribosome. Ribosome is place for making proteins. 42. The organelle contains cristae and used as a site for energy or ATP synthesis is the A. Nucleus, B. Mitochondria, C ribosome, D chloroplast, and E SER. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be mitochondria. This is the site for making ATP. Number 43. The structure used to differentiate algae from protozoa is A nucleus, B mitochondria, C ribosome, D cell wall, E RER. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be cell wall. Eh, remember, protozoa do not have cell wall. Algae have cell wall. Both of them has nucleus, mitochondria, ribosome, and RER. So cell walls will be the structure used for distinguish algae and protozoa. Number 44. Which of the following organism have cell wall made of cellulose? A. Bacteria B. Algae C. Protozoa D. Fungi E. Animal Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be algae. A. Algae have cell wall made of cellulose. How about bacteria? Yes, bacteria has a cell wall but it is made of peptidoglycan. How about protozoa? Protozoa do not have cell wall. How about fungi? Fungi do have cell wall but the cell wall made of chitin. Animals do not have cell wall. Eh? So the correct answer will be algae, the one that have cell wall made of cellulose. Number 45. The structure used to differentiate between algae from fungi is A. Nucleus B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosome, D. Cell wall, E. Chloroplast. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be chloroplast. Because algae have chloroplast, fungi do not have chloroplast. Both of them have nucleus, mitochondria, ribosome, and also cell wall. So chloroplast will be the structure to distinguish between fungi and algae. 46. The organelle that consists of grana or stack of tilakoid and used as a site for photosynthesis is the nucleus, mitochondria, ribosome, chloroplast, or SER. I believe we do have this question already. So the answer will be chloroplast. Number 47. Which of the following organism have both cell walls and chloroplast? A. Bacteria, B. Algae, C. Protozoa, D. Fungi, E. Animal. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be algae. Algae have cell wall and also chloroplast. Bacteria have cell wall but no chloroplast. Protozoa do not have cell wall, do not have chloroplast. Fungi 
they do have cell wall but no chloroplast animal just like protozoa do not have cell wall do not have chloroplast 48 fungi that do not produce sexual spores are classified in the phylum a zygomycota b ascomycota c basidiomycota d deuteromycota choose your answer Yes, the answer will be deuteromycota. It means uh, pseudo or imperfect fungi. They do not produce sexual spores. The other three, zygomycota, ascomycota, basidiomycota, they do produce sexual uh, spores and also asexual spore. Number 49. Filamentous fungi are called septa, mycelium, moss, yeast. We already have this question, so the answer will be mold. Number 50. Non-filamentous fungi are called septa, mycelium, moss, yeast. Yes, the answer will be yeast. So yeast is non-filamentous fungi. Number 51. Yeast that has but remain attached and form a chain is called A. Hyphae B. Pseudo hyphae C. Molds D. Mycelium Choose your answer Yes, it is called pseudo hyphae It looks like hyphae but it's very very short so therefore it's called the fake or pseudo hyphae Number 52. General infections caused by fungi are called A. Mycosis, B. Bacteriosis, C. Ascariasis, C. Uh, D. Filariasis, E. Elephantiasis. Choose your answer. Yeah, for fungi is called mycosis. So myco mean fungi. Cis mean infection or inflammation. Parasitic worm is included in the kingdom A. Monera B. Protista C. Fungi D. Plantae E. Animalia Yes, the answer will be animals. So, worms are animal. 54. Viruses are measured in blank while bacteria are measured in blank. A. Millimeter micrometer Micrometer, nanometer, C, nanometer, micrometer, D, nanometer, millimeter, E, millimeter, nanometer. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be, yeah, virus is very, very small. It is measured in nanometer. Bacteria is a little bit bigger, but still small. So they are measured in micrometer. 55. Viruses that can damage the fetus or embryo are called as blank viruses. A. Teratogenic B. Chronic C. Lytic D. Lysogenic E. Oncogenic Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be teratogenic, which is the virus that can cause damage in the embryo. 56. Viruses that can trigger cancer are called as blank viruses. B. Teratogenic, I mean A. Teratogenic, B. Chronic, C. Lytic, D. Lysogenic, E. Oncogenic. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be oncogenic, oncomin cancer or tumor. Okay, so oncogenic virus are the virus that can trigger cancer like hepatitis b viruses can cause liver cancer 57 an example persistent infection of animal virus is a teratogenic b chronic c lytic d lysogenic e oncogenic choose your answer yes the answer will be chronic so chronic is a type of 
persistent infection, long term infection. Number 58. Blank are the structure used by animal viruses for attachment. A. Virions. B. Nucleic acid. C. Prions. C. Uh, D. Capsid. E. Spikes. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is spikes. So just remember, the attachment structure of animal viruses is called spikes. For bacteria, is called fimbriae. Number 59. Which of the following phase is only exists in the bacterial or plant viruses? A. Adsorption. B. Penetration. C. Uncoating. D. Synthesis. E. Assembly. F. Maturation. G. Release. Choose your answer. The answer will be maturation. Okay, remember, there are six stages of bacterial life cycle okay so for the bacteriophage or bacteria viruses eh, they have six start with the absorption then penetration they do not have uncoating eh, because uncoating is for animal viruses then after penetration they do synthesis after synthesis assembly after assembly, they need to be mature. So this is the only one that present in bacteriophage or plant viruses. And finally, they will release by breaking the cell wall of bacteria or plants. Okay, so only maturation. Now, number 60. Which of the following phase is only exists in animal viruses? A. Absorption B. Penetration C. Uncoating D. Synthesis E. Assembly F. Maturation G. Release Choose your answer. Yes, it will be uncoating. So uncoating only presence in animal virus life cycle. Again, it has six stages start with the absorption or attachment then penetration then uncoating eh? then synthesis after that assembly and release eh? so no maturation because maturation is only present in uh, plant viruses or bacteria viruses okay number 61 viruses that have enveloped acquire the envelope around their nucleocapsid during a attachment b uncoating c synthesis d assembly e release choose your answer yes it is of course during release because when they release from the animal say they actually carry the cell membranes of the host cell it is become the envelope number 62 Bacteriophage or prophage are uh, used blank for attachment. A. Spikes. B. Fimbriae. C. Capsid head. D. Tail fibers. E. Pili. Yes, it's going to be tail fibers. For the animal virus, the attachment structure is called spikes. But for the bacteriophages, it is called tail fibers. 63. Which virus may play a role in MS, multiple sclerosis? A. Herpes simplex virus 1. Uh, B. Varicella zoster viruses 3. C. Epstein Barr virus 5. D. Human herpes virus 6, E. Human herpes virus 8. Choose your answer. The answer is human herpes virus number 6. It can trigger uh, multiple sclerosis. Number 64. Which virus may play a role in Kaposi sarcoma on AIDS patients? The same choices 
Yes, the answer will be E, human herpes viruses. It is the one that, uh, number eight, okay, this is the one that can trigger the skin cancer. It's called the Kaposi sarcoma, especially to AIDS patient. Number 65, which of the following is not used for herpes simplex virus 1 and herpes simplex virus 2 treatment? A. Valaclovir B. Aciclovir C. Famciclovir D. Interferon E. Zorifex, Zofirex Choose your answer Yes, the answer will be interferon. So interferon is not used for uh, herpes simplex 1 and 2 treatment. Number 66. Which of the following is correct about cytomegalovirus? A. Among the most common of human infection. B can be transmitted by saliva, respiratory mucus, urine, and semen. C, commonly carried in the latent state. D, can be sexually transmitted. E, all the above choices are correct. Choose your answer. Yes, all the above choices actually correct for cytomegalovirus. Number 67. Which of the following fires is a primary cause of morbidity and mortality from diarrhea worldwide? A. Rhinovirus B. Rotavirus C. Calicivirus D. Polioviruses E. Uh, HAV viruses Hepatitis A virus Choose your answer Yes, the rotavirus is the primary cause of morbidity or sickness and mortality eh, or death from diarrhea worldwide. Number 66, I mean 68. Which of the following is not true about West Nile virus? A. It is arbovirus. B. It is transmitted by mosquito factor. C. It is typically a flu-like illness. D. About 80% infection have no symptom. E. It causes hemorrhagic fever. Choose your answer. E. Is the answer. Eh? It is not causing the hemorrhagic fever. So the one is not is E. Eh? It causing hemorrhagic fever. It is not. 69. Which of the following is true about measles? A. It is also known as rubiola. B. Complex spots appear before rash. C. The most contagious infectious disease. D. Humans are the sole reservoir. E. All the above choices are correct. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is all the above choices are correct for this measles. 70. Which of the following is correct about poliomyelitis? A. It is primarily transmitted by fecal contaminated water. B. It is mostly asymptomatic or mild with headache, sore throat, and nausea. C. If enter the central nervous system, the motor neuron can be infected and destroyed. D. Vaccine is available. E. All the above choices are correct. Yes, the answer will be all the above choices are correct for polio. 71. Which area has the largest number of people with HIV AIDS? North America. B. South America C. Southeast Asia D. Caribbean C. Sub-Saharan Africa Choose your answer The answer is E. Sub-Saharan Africa This is the area that has a lot of people with HIV and AIDS 72. Fifth disease is caused by A. Variola virus B. Rotavirus 
C. Parvovirus B19 C. Fluffy virus C. Uh, e. Hepadna virus Choose your answer Yes, the answer is Parvovirus B19 It's causing the fifth disease or slap disease 73. Hydrophobia the dumb face, the negri bodies in the nervous system are signs and symptoms of A. Dengue fever B. Norwalk virus C. Poliomyelitis D. Ebola C, uh, E. Rabies Yes, this is the sign and symptom of rabies Number 74 Coronaviruses can be caused a. SARS, B. MERS, C. COVID-19, D. All above choices are correct, E. All above the choices are incorrect. Yes, the answer will be all above choices are correct. So, coronavirus causing severe uh, acute respiratory syndrome or SARS, uh, Middle East respiratory syndrome or MERS, uh, coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 Number 75 Crutzfeldt jacob disease is A. SARS B. MERS C. COVID-19 D. Metcow disease E. A. Spongiform encephalopathy of human or TSE Yeah, the answer will be TSE Number 76. Which of the following is a sign and symptom of smallpox? A. Fever B. Malaise C. Rest D. Shock and toxemia E. All the above choices are incorrect. A. The answer is E. I'm sorry. should be all the above choices are correct. Okay, so... The E, eh, just take a note that E should say all the above choices are correct. Number 77. Virus that depends on another virus to replicate is called A. Prions, B. Herpes virus, C. Pox virus, D. Rhabdovirus, E. Satellite virus. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be E, satellite virus. It's require other virus to reproduce or replicate. Number 78. Misfolded protein that can be in cause infection on human, Crutchfield jacob syndrome or TSE, is called the A, prions, B, herpes virus, C, pox viruses, D, rhabdovirus, E, satellite virus. Choose your answer. Yes, this is actually prions. So this is just proteins that can cause damage in the brain. Okay? And the syndrome is the disease called the Crutchfeld Jacob syndrome. Okay, 79. The use of physical and chemical process or agent to control microbes on animate object is called A. Sterilization B. Disinfection C. Antisepsis D. Sanitation E. Degermation Choose your answer Yes, the answer will be antisepsis which is used on living object or animate object A. D. The use of physical or chemical process or agent to control microbes on inanimate object is called A. Sterilization B. Disinfection C. Antisepsis D. Sanitation E. Degermation Choose your answer Yes, the answer will be disinfection Okay, so this is used on non-living object or inanimate object 81 The complete removal or destruction of viable microorganism on inanimate object is called A. Sterilization B. Disinfection C. Antisepsis D. Sanitation E. Degermation 
choose your answer yeah it is called sterilization okay removal of all viable living microorganism including the endospores 82 ethylene oxide is a sterilization sporocidal b disinfection c antisepsis d sanitation e degermation choose your answer yes ethylene oxide is actually gas for sterilization 83 the minimum temperature pressure and time for steam autoclave is a 100 centigrade 15 pressure and 15 minute b 120 and centigrade 15 pressure and 15 minutes c 125 centigrade 15 pressure and 10 minutes d 134 centigrade 15 pressure and 5 minutes or e 135 centigrade 15 pressure and 5 minutes choose your answer yes the minimum temperature is 121 for autoclave and the pressure minimum 15 and the time minimum also 15 so B is the answer 84 which of the following is not phenolics B uh, A bisphenol B cresol C chloramine D hexachlorophyll E creolin choose your answer yes the answer will be chloramine uh, so chloramine is halogen is not phenol 85. Radiation of food uh, can cause the following except A. Kill bacterial pathogen on food B. Kill insect on food C. Reduce the number of foodborne illness or death D. Reduce food nutrition E. Inhibits protein on some vegetable Choose your answer the one that is not is reduced food nutrition. Okay? So radiation will not reduce the nutrition in the food. 86. The most difficult form of microbes to be destroyed is the A. Vegetative form B. Endospore C. Virus D. Yeast E. Protozoan cysts Choose your answer. Yes, endospore is the most difficult structure to be destroyed. 87. The intermediate resistant form of microbes to be destroyed is the vegetative form B endospore, C virus, D yeast, E protozoan cysts. Choose your answer. Yeah. So the intermediate one is protozoan cysts and the most difficult one endospores after that protozoan cysts 88 the easiest form of microbe to be destroyed is the A vegetative form B endospore C staphylococcus D prion E protozoan cysts Yes, the answer will be vegetative form. It is really easy to destroy this form, eh, to control. Endospore is the most difficult one. Staphylococcus, the intermediate resistant. Prion, the same like endospore, one of the most difficult one to control. Protozoan cyst is the same like staphylococcus. This is intermediate resistant. 89. Which of the following chemical contains chlorine and two phenolic rings and used as degermation before performing surgery? A. Ethyl alcohol B. Carbolic acid C. Chlorhexidine D. Formalin and E. Trichloxane Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is chlorhexidine. This is the main chemical used for degermation before surgery 90 in general there are more antibacterial drugs compared to antifungal antiprotozoal and until anti helminth drugs because they a do not cause infection 
be a parasite found on the inside human cell, C have fewer target sites compared to bacteria, D are so similar with human cell that selective drugs are difficult to achieve. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be D. Okay, so the fungi, protozoa, and helminths uh, cells are very similar with human cell, so it's going to be difficult to find specificity eh, for these drugs. 91. The drug used for protozoal infection is A. Streptomycin. B. Penicillin. C. Metronidazole. D. Griseofulvin. E. Aciclovir. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be metronidazole because streptomycin and penicillins are for bacteria. Griseofulvins are uh, is for fungi and aciclovir, of course, this is for virus. So the correct answer C. Number 34. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it should be 92. Okay, instead of 34. It's 92. Antibiotics are produced by the following microorganism except A. Penicillium B. Bacillus C. Streptomyces D. Staphylococcus E. Cephalosporium Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus do not produce antibiotics. Okay, 93. The drug used against intestinal and aerobic bacteria that can also cause super infection is A. Clindamycin, B. Chloramphenicol, C. Cifrofloxacin, D. Bacitracin, C. Penicillin. Choose your answer. Yeah, the answer is Clindamycin. Number 94. When a serial dilution of drug is used for testing its effectiveness against microbes to find the ATI, B, M, I, C, D, zone of inhibition, D, zone of growth, and E, zone of colonization. Choose your answer. Yes, it is used for finding the MIC, minimum inhibitory concentration. Okay, so just like this picture. Okay, so from the left side, okay, the left side, okay, so from the right side, so the, la the right side, one microgram per liter is very small. And then double it into 2, double it into 4, double into 8, 16, and 32 dose. If you see in one dose, 1 milligram per liter, the bacteria is still growing. In 2 milli, uh, microgram per milliliter, still growing. 4 microgram per milliliter, the bacteria is still growing. And the one that clear, start from 8 microgram Per milliliter so it will be the MIC so if we follow the test eh, uh, by growing the bacteria on the petri dish if you see from the 8 there are still some bacterial growth from 16 there are no bacterial growth so it means that for the minimal bacterial uh, bactericidal concentration or MBC will be 16 so 16 will remove all bacteria. It still some bacteria able to grow with this dose. Okay, number 95. Which drug is used to treat MRSA, methylene resistant Staphylococcus aureus? A. Penicillin B. Meticillin C. Griseofulvin D. Aciclovir E. Vancomycin Choose your answer. Okay, 
the answer will be vancomycin penicillin methicillin is not eh? they are the same drug which is in the penicillin class it will not effective against staphylococcus aureus mrsa griseofulvin is for fungi aciclovir is for virus so the correct answer will be vancomycin number 96 which drug is used to treat gram negative bacteria a penicillin b methicillin c aminoglycoside d aciclovir e vancomycin choose your answer the answer will be aminoglycoside 97 which drug has peptidoglycan or bacterial cell wall as its target a penicillin b griseofulvin c aminoglycoside d aciclovir e tamiflu yes the answer will be penicillin so penicillin is a group of anti antibiotics that destroy the cell wall 98 which of the following mechanism of drug resistance acquired by removal of drug from the cell? A. Drug inactivation B. Decreased permeability C. Activation of drug pumps D. Change in drug binding site and E. Use alternate metabolic pathway Yes, the answer is pumping which is activation of drug pumps it will increase the mechanism of drug resistance of bacteria 99 the ability of staphylococcus aureus to produce penicillinase to block penicillin is an example of which mechanism of drug resistance a drug inactivation b decreased permeability c activation of drug pumps D. Change in drug binding sites. E. Use alternate metabolic pathway. Choose your answer. Yes, it's going to be drug inactivation. So penicillinase will destroy the penicillin. So will inactivate the penicillin. 100. The similarity of ampicillin, amoxicillin, and penicillin G is A. They have beta lactam ring to destroy bacterial cell wall B they have surfactant to destroy bacterial cell wall membranes C they have tetra rings to block protein synthesis D they have sulfury to block metabolic pathway and E they have microlite to destroy fungi choose your answer yes the answer will be A they have beta lactam rings to destroy the peptidoglycan or bacterial cell wall 101 which of the following drug has its target on 30s ribosomal subunits of the bacterial cell a aminoglycoside b penicillin c polymyxin d sulfonamide and e chloroquine choose your answer Yes, the answer is aminoglycoside. So you have to memorize the drugs and their targets. Okay, so this is the illustrations of the drug and their target. The one that destroys cell wall, okay, like penicillin, cephalosporin, vancomycin, bacitracin, and some other drugs over there. The one that destroys the cell membrane is polymyxin. The one that destroy DNA, RNA, yeah, like rifampin, uh, quinolones, ciprofloxacins. The one that destroy the ribosome, uh, the big subunit, uh, 50S, yeah, like chloramphenicol, erythromycin, clindamycin, oxalinones. The one that destroy the smaller subunit or 30S, aminoglycoside, tetracycline, streptomycin, amicacin. The one that block the metabolic pathway, usually sulfa drug and trimetrofrim. Right, so you have to memorize some of this drug and their target. Okay, number 102. 
which of the following is not side effects of antimicrobial drugs? A. Diarrhea B. Yellowish on tooth enamel C. Hepatotoc hepatotoxicity D. Neprotoxicity E. Development of drug-resistant bacteria Yes, the answer will be development of drug-resistant bacteria. Remember when we talk about side effects, it is happenings in human body, which is drug can cause diarrhea, yellowish of tooth enamel, hepatotoxicity, and also neprotoxicity. So it's happened in the human that using the drugs. But E is actually happenings in the bacteria, which is not part of the side effects 103 which of the following drug that is similar to penicillin but with greater spectrum and greater resistance to beta lactam a microlite b streptomycin c bacitracin d tetracycline b uh, e carbapenems just your answer yeah, the answer is carbapenems, which is the drug that can destroy the cell wall uh, with more greater spectrum for gram-positive and also gram-negative bacteria. 104. When the disease occurs occasionally at irregular intervals and random location, it is referred to as A. Epidemic B. Endemic C. Pandemic, D. Sporadic, E. Chronic. Yes, the answer is sporadic, which is the area is random, the interval is random. Eh? Epidemic, it is wider. Endemic is local area. Pandemic, it is all over the world. 105. Which one is not a sign of infection? A. Fever B. Leukopenia C. Swollen lymph nodes D. Antibodies in the serum E. Nausea Choose your answer. Yes, it's going to be nausea. Remember, sign is something that uh, you can measure. So you can measure fever. How many uh, temperature? What is the temperature? Okay, 105 for example. So it is sign. Leukopenia, you can take a samples of the blood and count for the white blood cell. Leukopenia means the concentration of white blood cell is very low. Swollen lymph nodes, you can measure it, you can see it. Antibodies in the serum, you can also check it, you can test it. But nausea, you cannot test, you cannot measure it. Eh? Because nausea is not a sign. Nausea is a symptom. Eh? 106. The stage of an infection when the specific sign and symptom are seen and the pathogens are in peak activity. A. Incubation stage. B. Prodromal stage. C. Period of infection. D. Convalescent stage. E. All the choices are correct. Yeah, the answer will be period of infection where the bacteria or pathogens growing very fast and it will produce specific sign and symptom to the patient. 107. Swelling, redness, and soreness are indication of A. Inflammation B. Sequela C. Toxemia D. Syndrome E. Latency Choose your answer. Yeah, this is sign and symptom of inflammation. Number 108. All the following is A. Communicable disease except A. Measles B. Influenza C. Tuberculosis D. Pertussis or whooping cough and E. Botulism Choose your answer. Yes, only botulisms. In this case, that is not communicable is not contagious 109 which one is not referred as resident flora 
A normal flora, B indigenous flora, C normal microflora, D phytogenic flora, E resident flora. Yes, the answer will be pathogenic flora. They are not normal flora. Number 110. What is the reason why non-pathogenic microbes do not cause disease? A. They lack attachment factors. B. They have not evolved strategies to evade host defense. C. They lack virulent factors to cause disease. D. They readily expelled by the host. And E. All the above choices are correct. Yes, all the above choices are correct. 111. Which of the following is resident flora in the intestine? A. Staphylococcus B. Streptococcus B. Uh, C. Bacteroides D. E. coli E. C. and D are correct. Yes, the answer will be E, which is Bacteroides and E. coli are the two normal or resident flora in the intestine. 112. Which of the following is not important factor that contribute to the infection? A. Genetic mutation in immunity-related gene. B. Physical and mental stress. C. Surgery and organ transplants. D. Chronic disease like diabetes mellitus. E. Family history of neurological disorder. Choose your answer. Okay, the one is not is the family history of neurological disorder. This is not important factor for infection. Stress, uh, mutation, surgery, chronic disease, they can increase the risk of getting infection. 113. Which of the following portal of entry is most used by pathogen? A. Skin B. Urogenital C. Gastrointestinal D. Respiratory E. None of the above Yes, the answer will be res uh, Respiratory Portal of Entry 114. The components of the first line of defense include the following except A. Skin structure B. Sweat C. Phagocyte D. Nasal hair. E. Flushing action of urination. Yes, the answer will be phagocyte. So phagocyte is part of the second line, not the first line. 115. The pseudostratified epithelium that have cilia to sweep, uh, to sweep microbes trapped in the mucus away are uh, in the A. GI tract. B. Urinary tract. C. Respiratory tract. D. All the above answer are correct. E. All the above answer are incorrect. Yes, the answer will be respiratory tract. So they have cell with cilia to move the debris and maybe some microbes. 116. The non-specific first lines of chemical defense include A. Lysozymes. B. Hydrochloric acid C. Fatty acid D. Acidic pH And E. All the above answers are correct Yes, the answer will be All the above answers are correct For the first line chemical defense Number 117 the components of the second line of defense include the following except A. Inflammatory responses B. Interferons C. Phagocyte D. Nasal hair E. Complement system Yes, the answer is nasal hair because nasal hair is actually part of the first line of defense. 118. Fever is a component of second line of defense initiated by blank that affect the affect the thermoregulator in the hypothalamus. A complements B interferon, C leukotrienes, D pyrogens, E histamine. Choose your answer. 
yeah the name is pyrogen so pyrogen is a chemical that control or set the thermometers in our body okay it will increase the body temperature causing fever 119 complement is a component of the second line of defense initiated by blank that destroy and form holes on bacterial cell wall and uh, envelop viruses a proteins b interferons c leukotrienes d pyrogens e histamine choose your answer yeah the answer will be proteins there are 20 to 26 ring proteins that destroy the cell wall of bacteria and also the envelope of viruses 120 the components of the third line of defense includes the following a neutrophils b eosinophil c basophils d lymphocytes e monocytes yes the answer will be lymphocyte eh, which include the b cell and the T cell 121 which of the following defense are non-specific and innate a the first line of defense b the second line of defense c the third line of defense d a and b are correct e b and c are correct choose your answer yes the answer will be a and b first line and second line of defense are non-specific and innate 122 which of the following defense are specific and acquired a the first line b the second line c the third line d a and b correct e c and b correct yes the answer will be the third line of defense eh? the third line of defense used for uh, specific and also acquired type of defense mechanism 123 which of the following defense are associated with specific and memory a the first line b the second line c the third line d a and b correct E, B, and C are correct. Yes, the answer will be the third line of defense because they use specific cell and they can also produce the memory cell to form immunity. Number 124. T cells. A, produces and secretes antibodies. B, function in cell-mediated immunity or CMI. C. Function in antibody mediated immunity or AMI. D. Function in phagocytosis. E. Are mature in red bone marrow. Choose your answer. Yes, the correct answer will be B. Function in cell mediated immunity or CMI. Eh? The other choices are actually used for or characteristic of B cells. A, which is the plasma B cells, number 225. A, produces in secret antibodies. B, function in cell-mediated immunity or CMI. C, function in blood clotting. D, are mature in thymus gland. E, are developed from CD4 and CD8 lymphocyte. Choose your answer. The answer will be A, so the plasma B cell produces and secretes antibodies. Uh, B is the characteristic of T cell. Eh? Function in blood clotting is actually fibrinogen. Eh? Uh, D, mature in thymus gland, this is for T cell. E, the flow from CD4, CD8, lymphocyte, it is also for T cells. 126. Immunology is the study of the second line of defense. B, the third line of uh, second line of defense. A, the first line. B, the second line. C, the third line. D, A, and B correct. E, B, and C correct. Yeah, the answer will be B and C 
the second line and the third lines are studied in immunology 127 which of the following are the primary lymphatic organs a lymph nodes and tonsils b spleen and lymph nodes c gall and lymph nodes d lymph nodes and lymph nodules e red bone marrow and thymus choose your answer yes the answer will be the red bone marrow and thymus because these are the two organs that produce and the place for t cell and b cell maturation so they are primary organs 128 which of the following secondary lymphatic organ filter pathogen from the blood a lymph nodes b spleen c gall d tonsil e lymph nodules choose your answer yes the answer is spleen okay 129 which of the following secondary lymphatic organs are heavily clustered in armpit, groin, and the neck? A. Lymph nodes B. Spleen C. Gold D. Tonsils E. Lymph nodules Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is lymph nodes. 130. Which of the following secondary lymphatic organs are heavily clustered in the throat? A. Lymph nodes B. Spleen C. Gold D. Tonsil E. Lymph nodules Choose your answer. Yes, of course, this is the tonsils. 131. Which of the following secondary lymphatic organ associated with the intestinal tract? A. Lymph nodes B. Spleen C. Gold D. Tonsils E. Lymph nodules Yes, the answer is gold. Gold means gut associated lymphatic tissue. So this is gold, the one that associated with the uh, intestinal tract. 132. The lymphatic vessel drain to the A liver, B blood vessel, C kidney, D pancreas, E stomach. Yes, the answer is blood vessel, especially the veins or vena cava. 133. Which of the following is not the sign and symptom of inflammation? A. Phagocytosis. B. Edema. C. Redness. D. Dolor or pain. E. Worms. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be phagocytosis. This is not sign and symptom of inflammation. So sign and symptom of inflammation is edema, which is swelling, uh, become red, redness, pain, eh, dolor, and also become worms. In, uh, phagocytosis is not inflammation, eh, symptom and sign of inflammation. 134. Which of the following are the most abundant leukocytes? Or white blood cell contribute about 50 to 70 percent in the blood. A. Neutrophils, B. Eosinophils, C. Basophils, D. Lymphocytes, E. Monocytes. Choose your answer. Yes, the most abundant one is neutrophil. So just follow the uh, mnemonic eh? never let monkey eat banana. So this is the sequence from the most abundant one to the least abundant one. Never let monkey eat banana. Never is start with the N, so neutrophil. Let start with the L, lymphocyte. Eh? Monkey, start with M, monocyte. Uh, eat, eosinophils. Eh? Banana, basophil. So, from the most abundant one to the least abundant one will be neutrophil, monocyte, I mean, neutrophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, eosinophil, and basophil. Okay, number 135. Which of the following are the least abundant leukocyte or white blood cell contribute less, less than 1% in the blood? Neutrophils, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, or monocyte? Choose your answer. K. 
okay, remember again, never let monkey eat banana. So the least abundant one will be banana or basophil. 136. Which of the following are the leukocytes contribute about 1 to 3% in the blood? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, or monocyte? Okay, of course, this is uh, before the least abundant ones uh, will be the eosinophils. 137. Which of the following are leukocytes that contribute about 25% in the blood? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, or monocyte? Choose your answer. Yes, this is going to be the second abundance one. Never let. So it's going to be L, lymphocyte. 138. Which of the following are leukocytes that contribute about 8 to 10% in the blood? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, monocyte. So this one will be in the middle one. Eh? Never let monkey. So it's going to be monocyte. Macrophages. Okay, 139. Which of the following leukocyte or white blood cell are attracted to the site of parasitic infection? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, monocyte. Choose your answer. It is going to be eosinophil. So eosinophil usually fights again uh, parasite. Neutrophils fight again bacteria. Basophil, allergy. Lymphocyte, viruses. Monocyte, bacteria. Okay, so the answer eosinophil. Fight, parasite. Which of the following leukocyte or white blood cell fights against bacterial infection and perform clearance of pus... Cellular debris, dead neutrophil, and damaged tissue. Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, or monocyte? Choose your answer. The answer will be monocyte. Okay, so monocyte or macrophages is the one that fight against bacteria, and it is also the one that clean up the debris. 141. Which of the following leukocyte white blood cells are attracted to the allergens? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, or monocyte? Yes, I already mentioned to you, basophil fights again allergen. So the answer will be basophils. 142. Which of the following leukocyte or white blood cells are granulocyte? Neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil. All the above answer are correct or all the above cancer are incorrect. Yes, D, all the above answer are correct. Eh? Granulocytes mean the one that have granules, which is the end with fills. So neutrophil, eosinophil, basophils, they do have granules. Lymphocyte, monocyte, they do not have granules. Number 143, which of the following Immunoglobins or Ig are found in the surface of B cell. A IgG, B IgA, C IgM, D IgD, E IgE. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is IgD. They located in the surface of B cell. 144. Which of the following Ig are the most abundant? that contribute about 80% of all Ig in the blood. A, IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, or IgE. Yes, the answer will be IgG. So already put this Ig in sequence from the most abundant one to the least abundant one. G, E, G, A, M, D, E. 145. Which of the following Ig are the least abundance that contribute less than 1% of all Ig in the blood? Choose your answer. It's going to be the IgE, so the, the least abundant one. And this is the one also fight against allergy or allergen. 
146. Which of the following Ig are the overreactive and causing type 1 hypersensitivity? G, A, M, D, E. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer should be IgE eh, because type 1 hypersensitivity is actually allergy. So the one that fight allergy is IgE and the basophil. So for the Ig, it's going to be IgE. 147. Which of the following Ig are overreactive and causing type 2 hypersensitivity? Choose your answer. So for the type 2, it is caused by the IgM. Right? The IgM that destroy the antigens of other cell or other uh, uh, chemicals or maybe other uh, uh, tissue. Right? So IgM. 146. Which of the following Ig are overreactive and causing type 3 hypersensitivity and also immune disease? Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be the IgG and also some IgM that will contribute to this process uh, or the type 3 hyper hypersensitivity and also causing the autoimmune disease. 149. Which of the following components are overreactive and causing type 4 hypersensitivity? Yes, the answer will be the TC, right? cytotoxic T cell. So just remember there are four type of hypersensitivity type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 type 1 is caused by IgE type 2 IgM type 3 IgG and type 4 is the only one that is not caused by Ig but it is caused by the cell it's called the TC 150 Atopy and anaphylaxis is the type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, or all the answers are correct. Yes, atopy anaphylaxis is allergy, so this is type 1, hypersensitivity. 151, contact dermatitis is the type 1, type 2, type 3, or type 4, or maybe all the answer correct. Choose your answer. Yes, contact dermatitis will be type 4. It is caused by the TC that is overreactive. 152. Incompatibility in blood transfusion and marriage is the type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, or all the answer incorrect. Yes, this is the type 2 hypersensitivity where the uh, antibody, which is the IgM, is really overreactive and destroy the uh, red blood cells of uh, the, the donor. Uh, and also, this is the one that destroy the red blood cell of the embryo inside the mother's body 153 hemolytic disease of newborn or hdn is the type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 or all the answer is incorrect yes this is the type 2 hypersensitivity where the antibodies from the mother eh, which is the igm destroy the baby's red blood cell so the baby will die uh, 154 hemolytic disease of newborns occurs when rh positive female pregnant with rh positive male rh positive female get pregnant with the rh negative male rh negative female get pregnant with the rh positive male Rh female, uh, negative female, pregnant with the Rh negative male. E, all the answers are incorrect. 
Okay, remember the only scenario for the AHDN is when the female is negative. Eh, when the female negative, it means that this female or this mother able to produce the antibodies. Eh? And the other condition will be the male or the husband should be positive, that causing the baby become positive, carry the antigen. So the antibodies of mother will destroy the antigens or the red blood cell of the babies. Okay. So the only scenario is negative female married with positive male. 155. Some autoimmune disease like type 1 diabetes and myasthenia gravis are the type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, or all the answer incorrect. Yes, this is type 3 hypersensitivity, eh, where the IgG destroying our own cell or our own tissue causing the autoimmune disease like diabetes 1 and myasthenia gravis. Eh? One hundred fifty-six. The initial encounter with an allergen is called a allergic dose, b sensitizing dose, b c provocative dose, d hypersensitivity dose, e desensitizing dose. Choose your answer. Okay, the initial encounter is called sensitizing dose. I usually no symptom and sign. 157. The sub uh, sub uh, subsequent exposure with the same allergen is called A. Allergic dose B. Sensitizing dose C. Provocative dose D. Hypersensitivity dose E. Desensitizing dose Choose your answer. Yes, it is called the provocative dose. This is when the allergic reaction will be present eh, during the provocative dose. So only two stages, sensitizing dose and provocative dose for allergy. So two stages of allergy. 158. Which of the following chemical is not the mediators of allergy? A. Histamine B. Leukotriene C. Bradykinin D. Prostaglandin E. Interleukin Choose your answer. Yes, the one that is not is interleukin. Interleukin is used for immune system. Uh, histamine, leukotriene, bradykinin, prostaglandins are mediators that causing allergic reaction. 159. The most potent mediators of allergy is the A. Histamine, leukotriene, bradykinin, prostaglandins, or serotonin. Choose your answer. Yes, it will be histamine. Okay, many... Allergy drug, they contain what we call the antihistamine eh, in to block the histamine production. Eh, like claritin, for example, uh, they have antihistamine. 160. Histamine produces the following allergic reaction, except A. Headache, B. Difficult to breathe, C. Flare reaction on the skin. D. Increase sensitivity to light. E. Runny nose and watery nose or watery eyes. Use your answer. Yes, the one that is not allergic reaction is increase sensitivity of light. It is not one of the allergy reaction caused by the histamine. 161. Allergic patient receiving small control injection of specific allergen is undergoing A. Allergic dose B. Sensitizing dose C. Provocative dose D. Hypersensitivity dose 
e decency they are seeing those this your answer yes the answer will be opposite of sensit uh, sensitizing which is it is called the desensitizing dose so the injected allergen is actually will be compete with the natural allergens okay, to desensitize the normal or natural allergens 162 pollen and animal hair are considered as a type of blank allergen a injectant b inhalants c contactant the ingestion a uh, e or the above answer are incorrect yes the answer will be inhalant because we inhale the pollen and also animal hair so it is inhalants a if it is a bee sting for example it's gonna be injectant if it is food allergen it's gonna be ingestant 163 he has antigen a in his red blood cell and produce antibody b in his blood so his blood type is a b a b o or all the above answer are incorrect okay the answer will be a so just follow the antigen so if the red blood cell have antigen a then it is type a if the uh, red blood cell carry antigen b and it is type B. If the red blood cell carry antigen A and B, then the blood type will be AB. If the red blood cell do not carry antigen, then the blood type will be O. Okay, he has no antigen A nor antigen B. So this is easy. Eh? Uh, a, B, A, B, or O. Eh, I just explain it. It will be... O type because no antigen E, no antigen, uh, uh, sorry, no antigen A, no antigen B, so it will be O blood type. Which of the following blood type is the universal donor? Okay, 165. A plus, A minus, B plus, AB plus, or O minus. Or all the above answer are incorrect. Choose your answer. Okay, so the answer to this, you have to know which one that do not have antigen. Eh? Because when we donor the blood, it means that we give the antigen. So the one that do not have antigens will be the donor, the universal donor. It means that he can give to anybody any patient any recipient so it will be o and negative okay so o negative will be the universal donor now how about the universal recipients 166 a minus b plus a b plus or a negative the answer should be the one that do not produce the antibody so a b eh, because it has both antigen a and b it will not produce the antibody a and the antibody b and blood positive because it carry the antigen positive then it will not produce the antibody resist so the answer will be a b positive 167 the organ or tissue transplanted from the same person or self tissue is called autograph, allograph, isograph, sinograph. Choose your answer. Yes, auto means self, so it will be autograph. Allograph, it is the tissue that coming from the same species, humans and human, other human. Isograph, this is the tissue coming from the uh, identical twins sinograph the tissue or organs coming from animals different species okay. 168 the organ or tissue transplanted from an animal is called autograph allograph isograph or sinograph 
we already mentioned this. This is going to be sinograph. 169. Edward Jennings work involved in evolution, immunization, microscopy, taxonomy, or bacterial culture. Yes, the answer should be immunization. Evolution is Charles Darwin. Microscopy is Robert. Uh, microscopy is Anthony Leeuwenhoek. Taxonomy is uh, Linnaeus. Bacterial culture is Robert Cook. You mean Robert Cook, yeah. 170. Which of the following infectious disease has been eliminated worldwide by vaccination effort? AIDS, polio, smallpox, chickenpox, or COVID-19. Okay. What is the answer? Should be smallpox. AIDS still present. Polio still around. Yeah. Uh, chickenpox. Uh, there are some area, country that still have chickenpox. COVID-19, of course, it is still here. Eh? So smallpox is... The infectious disease that has been eradicated from uh, worldwide due to the vaccination effort. 179. Which of the following types of vaccine poses greater risk for immunocompromised uh, patient? A. Kill inactivate vaccine. B. Toxoid. Immune serum or subunit or life attendant vaccine. So the answer will be the live one because the live vaccine they still have all the characteristics characteristic of the uh, live viruses and it will causing higher risk for people with the immunocompromised like uh, older people or maybe AIDS patients. 172. Which of the following is the type of natural active immunity? A. Immunity after vaccinations. B. Immunity after cure from the disease. C. Immunity after antibody or Ig injection. D. Immunity after receiving antibody from mother through breastfeeding. What is your answer? Okay, make sure this is natural. So this is something that is happening uh, happens naturally. Active mean it is produce the memory cell after natural cause after the disease. So the answer will be B immunity after curing from the disease. 173. Which of the following is the type of artificial active immunity? A. Immunity after vaccination. B. Immunity after curing from the disease. C. Immunity after antibody or Ig injection. D. Immunity after receiving antibody from mother through breastfeeding. Choose your answer. Okay, the answer will be because this is artificial, it's going to be injection. Uh, so A and C, uh, it has injection over there. But this is active. Active mean our body produce memory cell, which is long-term immunity. So it will be vaccination. Uh, immunity after vaccination. 174. Which of the following is the type of artificial passive immunity? A. Immunity after vaccination. B. Immunity after curing from the disease. C. Immunity after antibody or Ig injection. D. Immunity after receiving antibody from mother through breastfeeding. Choose your answer. A. The answer will be artificial is injection, passive is antibody. So, the answer will be Artificial passive immunity. Yeah, immunity after antibody injection. Which is C. I'm sorry. So it's, the answer should be C, not D. Okay. Uh, the 
sentence is correct, but the letter is incorrect. So immunity after Ig or antibody injection is will be artificial passive immunity. Okay, 175. The injection of HRIG to protect against rabies is a type of natural active, natural passive, artificial active, or artificial passive. Choose your answer. Okay, because this is injection, it's going to be artificial. And this is injection of uh, antibody, so it's going to be passive. Okay, so the answer will be artificial passive immunity. Now, how about this one, 176? The injection of rabies vaccine to protect against rabies is type of natural active, natural passive, artificial active or artificial passive choose your answer okay because this is injection or vaccination then it's gonna be artificial and because this is vaccine which is the disease that is injected not the antibody so it will be active so artificial active immunity so the answer will be C. I'm sorry again. The letter should be C, not D. Okay, C, artificial active immunity. Okay, 177. Which of the following virulent factors of staph aureus is also known as, spread, as spreading factors due to its ability to destroy the connective tissue? A. Coagulase, B. Staphylokinase, C. Hemolysin, D. Hyaluron, hyaluronides, hyaluronides, E. All the above choices are correct. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer is hyaluronides, which is the enzymes that destroy the connective tissue. 178. Which of the following pertain to the Neisseria, men to the Neisseria meningitis? Except, okay, A. It causes meningitis. B. Its virulent factors include the IgA protease and pili. C. It reserves force in the nasopharynx of human carriers. D. It is a common cause of bacterial pneumonia. E. All the above choices are correct. Choose your answer. Yeah, the answer will be the one that is not a characteristic of Neisseria meningitis is it is a common cause of bacterial pneumonia. So Neisseria meningitis will not causing the bacteria uh, pneumonia okay so the one that causing the common type of bacterial pneumonia is actually the uh, streptococcus pneumonia which of the following cocky bacteria can cause pelvic inflammatory disease and infertility a streptococcus pyogen B. Staphylococcus auris, C. Neisseria gonorrhoeae, D. Neisseria meningitis, E. Streptococcus pneumonia. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which is C. 180. Which of the following cocky bacteria can cause common food intoxication? A. Streptococcus pyogen, B. Staphylococcus auris, C. Neisseria gonorrhoeae, D. Neisseria meningitis, E. Streptococcus pneumonia. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be Staphylococcus auris. It produces enterotoxin. Okay. 181. Which of the following is true about leprosy? A. It is a disease of lung tissue. B. 
B, it can be diagnosed by Mantox test. C, it has been eradicated around the world. D, it is gram-positive bacteria. E, it cannot be cultured in the lab. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be E, it cannot be cultured in the lab. Okay. Uh, A is incorrect because leprosy is not in the lung, mostly in the skin. Uh, Mantok test is for TB, not for the leprosy. It has been eradicated around the world. It is not. Eh? So far, only smallpox that has been eradicated. It is gram-positive bacteria. It is not. It is bacteria with special cell wall that need acid fast staining, not gram staining. So, the correct answer will be E. 182. Which of the following is true about leprosy? I, I think it's the same answer. I mean the same question. Okay, we go to 183. Which of the following is recommended for treating gangrene? A. Hyperbaric chamber. B. Depredements uh, depred of the wounds. C. Rigorous cleansings of rigorous uh, rigorous cleansings of the deep wound, D, amputation of the affected limb, or E, all the above answers are correct. Choose your answer. Yes, the answer will be all the above answers are correct. Eh? This is for treatment of gangrene. Hyperbaric chamber is mean giving oxygen pressures uh, to the wounds or to the patient because what gangrene caused by bacteria that do not like uh, oxygen anaerobic bacteria so oxygen will kill this bacteria so hyperbaric chamber will be used cleanings uh, and also some amputation sometimes is also used for removing the uh, gangrene 184. All the following pertain to the tuberculosis except A. Life basically can remain dormant in the lungs and reactivate later in life. B. Symptoms of active TB include low-grade fever, coughing, fatigue, weight loss, and night sweat. C. Lung infection can be disseminated to many other organs in the uh, extra pulmonary TB. D. The BCG vaccine is used. E. Antimicrobial cannot treat and cure the TB. Choose your answer. So the answer will be the last one. Eh? Antibacterial cannot treat and cure TB. It is incorrect eh? because many or some uh, drugs can be used for TB treatment. 185. Which of the following is not correct about bacillus series? A. Causes zoonosis. B. Produces enterotoxin. C. Causes foodborne intoxication. D. Presence in soil. E. Associated with the cooked rice, potato, or meat that are stored in room temperature. Choose your answer. The one is not correct is causes zoonosis. So basically, serious cannot transfer from animal to human. It is not zoonosis type of disease. 186. Which of the following is not correct about nocardia? A. Causes pneumonia with symptom like TB. B. Transmitted by respiratory droplets. C. Filamentous rod that grows in cluster. D. Presence in soil. E. Causes most cases in immunocompromised people. Choose your answer. The one that is not is actually filamentous rod. So this is not filamentous rod. Eh? This is rod bacteria, but it will not... Uh, change into filament. It is just cluster of rot bacteria. 187. 
which of the following clostridium produces enterotoxin? A. Clostridium botulinum B. Clostridium perfringens C. Clostridium difficile D. Clostridium tetani And E. All the above answers are correct. Yes, the answer will be Clostridium difficile. Okay. So this is the one that causing uh, diarrhea eh, due to the enterotoxin. 188. Fish tank granuloma is caused by Mycobacterium TB, Mycobacterium avium, Mycobacterium cancersi, Mycobacterium marinum, or Mycobacterium leprae. Choose your answer. Yeah, it's gonna be marinum. Okay, it's related to fish tank. Eh? Marinum in water. So it is related to uh, infections from water. Eh? Especially in the uh, swimming pool. 189. Which of the following pertain to the Pseudomonas aeruginosa? Found in soil and water. B, an opportunistic pathogen. C, highly uh, chemical resistant. D, motile. E, all above answer are correct. Yes, the answer will be all the above answer are correct. So all the above uh, choices is actually characteristic of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. 190. Which of the following microorganism has drug-resistant strains called the MRSA? So it should be easy. Eh? Which one? Yes, the answer will be Staphylococcus aureus. Eh? Methylene-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So that's the answer. Okay, I believe we finish with this final exam exercise. I hope you have a very good grade with your finals and also I hope that you will get a very good grade in the uh, and in your final grade. Eh? I hope all of you get A in this class. Good luck. And goodbye.